Bristol Sound and Vision Show 2008. Hi, this is Phil Hinton, and welcome back to our continuing coverage from February's Bristol Sound and Vision Show. In this episode, we visit one of the projector manufacturers who have turned the market on its head in the last year, JVC, and their ultimate black models, the HD1, and launching at the show is the HD100. So we caught up with the company to discuss the new model. So with Steve from JVC, um, first time you've done Bristol for a long time, so why, why are you here at Bristol this year? Um, the real, one of the main reasons why we're here is because of the HD100. Um, we just launched this product in December of, this, of last year, uh, so we feel that this is the first consumer show and it's a very important show for the um, customer installer business. Uh, that would be an excellent opportunity to launch this particular product to the consumers. So uh, a lot of people will be wondering why the award-winning, multi-award winning HD1 isn't uh, being showing here. Is, is there a reason for that? Is it more based on the custom install market? Yes, it is. Um, the, the main difference between the HD100 and the HD1 is now you have double the contrast ratio and there are other new and exciting features for the custom install market and for the, the real discernible consumer. So we felt this would be an excellent opportunity to show this product here. We feel that due to the contrast ratio and the performance that it achieves at, a, at an aggressive price point, um, we can, we can get offer to the consumer a more cinematic feel from our unique technology to give a, um, an excellent picture performance from the new HD formats that, that are around. Now, um, the, the thing with the HD100 and the HD1, um, you know, when we test them at the AV forums, we test them out of the box. We also test them once they're calibrated. Um, now, your projectors offer calibration tools, but you don't have a colour management system in there. Is that something you're going to look at in the future? Yes, we always uh, have feedback from consumers, from dealers. Um, we always look at the AV forums for information and obviously feedback. And it's something that we're definitely looking at. And in addition to that, things like 12 volt trigger output um, and one or two other features. So, yes, it's an ongoing process. We feed back to the to the factories, they always ask our opinions um, on what latest technologies we need to add onto the project projectors, so yes, we're definitely looking at that. Uh, one other thing with your projection technology is the black levels, so how does, how does JVC achieve these black levels? Is it down to the DILA technology or is there a secret ingredient which you guys add? Well, um, there's two, one is the DILA chipset, but also we use a wire grid um, optical engine. So instead of using conventional glass prisms, which sometimes have, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, inconsistencies, when the light hits the actual prism, it reflects out of the device, uh, out of the, um, uh, the optical engine, which then drops the overall contrast level. What, we're trying to, what we use is a wire grid system, which allows you to focus the light source a lot more efficiently, which then obviously raises the contrast levels and brightness levels of the projector overall. So that in conjunction with our Fujinon, top quality Fujinon lens, uh, in addition to that our DLA chip technology so it gives you a very smooth uh, and uniform picture quality overall and also using the new colour filter on the HD100 gives us excellent picture quality overall. Now the HD100 has the picture stretch mode uh, for anamorphic use and I understand that you've been working with another company and you've actually come up with a, an anamorphic device now. Yes, um, well today's Saturday so yeah next week we'll be able to preview to selected dealers our new uh, anamorphic lens option. Uh, TNW Marketing have been very um, helpful in pioneering and uh, researching this particular product for us. So we'll be able to offer a solution for uh, our high-end customers. If they want to sell the HD100, they can then come to TNW Marketing and uh, purchase the lens option for it. And that will be a fully automatic uh, lens system with a sled and everything else, won't yes. it? Yes, it is. So fully motorised, using 12-volt um, um, uh, connection as well so that when they're using it in conjunction with a high-end installation when the consumer is going maybe from 16 by 9 mode to wide uh, to 2.35 to 1 mode yes it will you be able to be used in conjunction with that now you also got some other new products out there uh, display devices the slimmest LCD in the UK at this moment in time maybe you can tell us a little bit about that yes we'll be launching the new S range next month um, this particular TV set will be the slimmest integrated TV to market 
in March. So um, we know there are other manufacturers that will be bringing out slim LCDs or slim uh, televisions, but as I said to you, as I said to you before, March will be the first to market. Uh, in addition to that, ours is fully integrated. There is no external tuners required on this particular set. So we have a full HD panel, uh, 42 inch initially, and there will be a 46 inch in May of this year. And so the base will be 23 millimeters. The uh, the slimmest area of the back will be 39 millimeters in depth, and the, the the largest or the fattest area of the television set will be 74 millimeters in depth. And all the conventional um, connections that you'd expect on a full HD panel, so three HDMI at 1.3, uh, conventional legacy connections like SCART connectivity component to adhere to the HD Ready standard, and also be compatible with 24 frame on the 1080p. And from a sound point of view, you've also got um, a little mini system out there. Maybe you can explain us a little bit about that. Well, um, we'll also be introducing the new version of Sophisti. Sophisti is a, uh, a brand for us in terms of high-end um, home cinema, but it's a front surround sound system, so 2.1 surround sound. Uh, but built within that, we'll have uh, surround sound uh, and also uh, obviously DVD playback with 1080p upscaling and uh, a feature called USB clipping where a consumer will be able to uh, copy CD directly to MP3 or within the unit onto USB. So um, as a complete package it's, a, it's an ideal uh, solution for a consumer that whether they can have a surround sound system from two speakers, um, well obviously 2.1, uh, using our exclusive anisotropic technology. So Steve, uh, it's been great speaking to you today. Hopefully we'll catch up in the very near future. Thank you.